Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your Go High Level account. And more specifically, I'm gonna quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you create an invoice in your Go High Level account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna create an invoice in your Go High Level anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that creating an invoice with a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet can be kind of time consuming. So you can easily do it inside of your Go High Level user account. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Go High Level account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into one of my accounts on Go High Level. Now, just so you know, you should not be in the agency section of your Go High Level. You need to be in the user account. So first, what you're going to do is up here on the top left, go ahead and click here. And next, you're going to see all the different accounts that you have inside of your Go High Level agency. So I'll work on this one right here. Once you've chosen the company that you're going to set the invoice up through here on the left side, you want to look for this button here called payments. It looks like a little dollar sign next to it. Okay. So here is where you're going to see all of the invoices you might've already created. However, in order to create a new invoice in your go high level account, you're going to click on this blue new button. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and see two different options. So this is if you're sending off a one-time invoice, if you have some sort of a recurring invoice, you can go ahead and use this for the purpose of this video. I'm going to go ahead and choose new invoice. Okay guys, so we are ready to go ahead and create an invoice now with Go High Level. So as you can see, it automatically populates with your company information that you set up. And first thing you wanna do is go ahead and add a client. So click right here on this button, add client. All right, once you do that, you're gonna see a list of all of your clients in Go High Level that you have set up as contact. If you don't see that person, you can easily just click right here, add new client. Right here, you can go ahead and add them in as a client. First name, last name, email address, phone number. Definitely put an email address because that is how they are going to receive this invoice you create with Go High Level. So let me cancel out of this and I'm going to choose an existing client. Okay, as soon as you do that, you're going to see your contact information for that customer populate right here automatically. And here you can go ahead and change the invoice number. So we'll do this 14567. Issue date right here. This is when you are sending out the invoice through Go High Level. So I'll leave that one as today, the 12th. And you can set the due date right here. So if I'm sending on the 12th, let's give them until October 12th. Okay, now we wanna go ahead and let them know what we are creating this invoice for. So click here on add an item. Okay, if you've already set up products in your Go High Level account, you can just click right here and it's gonna give you a drop down, and you can just choose the product. So if you don't have any products like me, or if you're gonna create a new product, click on new item, All right? So now we're gonna go ahead and name the product. So we'll do YouTube marketing service and then product type, digital good, physical good, or a service. So I'll do service. Here you can go ahead and list the price. So we'll do this for 750. Tax category, this doesn't apply to a service for me, but if yours does, go ahead and include this and you can set up the taxes. Once you're done, go ahead and click on save. Okay, now we have added in our item right here. So you can go ahead and keep adding in items onto this invoice you create with Go High Level. For me, just the one item will work okay. And down here on the bottom, you can go ahead and click on this blue add tax. So if you have like a 10% sales tax or something like that, you can go ahead and add that here. So here you can set up add tax manually or add tax automatically to all of your products. All right, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more. Okay, so here you can see the invoice that we set up is for 750. If you need a payment schedule, so maybe if you're layering this in, so the first payment is 50%, the second payment would be another 50%, and they could set due dates for each one of those payments. I'm not gonna do that. And then down here, you can go ahead and add some notes. This way you can go ahead and let your customer know why you created this invoice in their name today or else. Okay, so I went ahead and wrote that in. That way they are not gonna be confused when they receive this invoice from me. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So what we're gonna need to do is scroll all the way back up to the top. Okay, so once you're here at the top, you're gonna look up here to the right in blue. You can send the invoice right away or you can save it for later. Also, if you've already received payment for this invoice and you're only setting up this invoice through Go High Level for record, you can click right here and then record a payment. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and save this invoice. Okay, now the invoice has been saved. Let me go back. Okay, now you can see this list of invoices has the invoice we just created right there. It's ready to be sent out when I want to. Also, it calculates the 750 that is due on this particular invoice as well. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to create an invoice in your Go High Level account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.